Here are the first two lines in the right hand. Try to make every note sing with plenty of shape and expression. Aim for a sustained quality in the sound and try to give the music a sense of direction, at the same time the music should always breathe. It's easy to make repeated notes sound dull and monotonous. Feel a sense of movement through each note, like you're travelling through the sound. The left hand is marked piano, and the dynamic should be maintained throughout the first four bars. Even softer from bar five. Try to keep your fingers relaxed, also a relaxed hand, wrist and elbow, as this will enable you to play all the notes fluently and evenly. You can also practice in block chords. This will help you to think in groups and also have a sense of the harmonic rhythm. When you do go back to playing quavers, they're more likely to flow, as by doing this, you're setting up more notes in one go, and not getting stuck on one note at a time. When practicing in block chords, you can also hear the full harmony and color of each chord. You can also practice like this hands together. It's all useful and maybe easier than playing quavers in the beginning, as you don't have to think how everything fits together. You may hear some extra clashes playing like this, but remember this is just a way of practicing. When you come to add the pedal later on, these clashes will also be present, but in a more transparent way. The first eight bars are all based on an E flat major scale, so make sure you're familiar with the key signature and the three flats. You can also practice the left hand with the pedal, changing pedal every half bar. Vary the pedal as you go. Sometimes you might want a bit more, sometimes a little less. The left hand broken chords are climbing down the E flat major scale, whilst the right hand begins to travel in the other direction. Keep the left hand very soft and gentle. The right hand reaches the top E flat and then traverses down again. A beautiful example of how music is based on scales. Here we're alternating between G minor and A flat major. G minor, A flat major. The tension then begins to build with the chords moving up chromatically in the left hand. An emphatic arrival in the key of C sharp minor in bar 16. Feel the sense of mystery as Kabalevsky leads us through this kaleidoscope of colours. The repetition and small variations in the right hand melody really sound like the music is telling us a story. Although there are no words, you can envisage speech. There is no text, so your imagination can run wild. You should always tell your own story. Once again, you can practice these as block chords. It always helps to feel where the keys are in relation to one another. Begin this section very softly and feel the tension building with each change of harmony. The right hand repeated Gs become more insistent. We're making our way to the darker key of C sharp minor. Hear the difference in color between C sharp minor, which has four sharps and E flat major, which has three flats. We've traveled a long way in just a short time. Enjoy the alternating harmonies whilst keeping the dark and haunting atmosphere. Legato in the right hand whilst feeling expression in the intervals. Bars 19 and 20 are harmonically the same as bars 17 and 18, but in the right hand, there are two different statements. First statement. Second statement. Here you can make something of the crescendos and diminuendos. Sometimes it helps to exaggerate a little. The polka rich should sound natural as the tension resides and we journey back to E flat major, the home key. This time the dynamic is pianissimo in both hands and this creates a different sound world altogether. 
You could even add the soft pedal and release this as the dynamic builds little by little. Try to keep the left hand soft under the singing melody above. You can achieve this voicing by really leaning into the treble notes whilst taking the pressure off the left hand. More use of arm weight in the treble, but just the weight of the hand and fingers in the bass. Keep everything simple as the music unwinds naturally. Enjoy the falling pitches in the right hand and keep the legato line from one note to the next. This is all one long phrase. For the first time in this piece we venture into the lower register of the piano. Savour the darker tones and take your time in the last two bars. Sustain the last chord for three beats, which is equal to six quavers. If you envisage the writ continuing through this chord, this could be sustained for even longer. <laughs> 